Now we talked about phase previously, and we're talking about a relationship between two or more signals that have the same frequency. And the phase involves, as I said before, the relationship of, uh, between the position of the amplitude crests and the troughs of the two waveform. So if I had a signal that I generate, uh, I know it's not very accurate in my drawing, but if I have this uh, signal, this frequency, and I uh, say, okay, you know, it started at zero degrees, and then that same uh, frequency is transmitted again, uh, in this case, if it was, let's say, 90 degrees out of phase, we would hopefully see that this uh, uh, negative trough would hopefully not affect the positive trough because they're not really occurring at the same time. Um, so, in fact, if I had, let's say, uh, let me make another chart. If I had that first signal, and then I had another one that is at a zero degree difference phase, meaning another frequency, the same frequency, a different transmission occurring at the same time, because it also would follow that same path, you would actually see that they would uh, boost each other. Of course, data communications would be horrible at this point, uh, but you would actually see that we'd almost combine them, and so we would have a higher uh, amplitude because of, uh, of the additional frequency at the same phase, zero degree difference, um, basically boosting the other one. So they're boosting each other. If they were 180 degrees out of phase, let's see if I can try to do a better sine wave this time. So if we were 180 degrees out of phase, what you would see is that this uh, second signal, same frequency, would occur, it's negative, at the same time, this one's at a positive crest, and uh, so both of those would basically cancel each other out, or could cancel each other out. It does also depend on the amplitude of each of those transmissions.